Hey, y'all. I am so excited about today's show. I'm in here in the kitchen just thinking about wonderful things that remind me of the fall. I'm gonna be making a pecan chicken, which will go perfectly with my baked acorn squash. And for dessert, I'm gonna show you how to make a rich and creamy pumpkin cheesecake and delicious pear fritters, y'all. So grab your sweater, cause summer's over and we're cooking up a fall harvest feast. Let's get started with one of my favorite autumn dishes and that's pecan chicken. I've got my chickens that I've quartered and to give us a sticky base, we're gonna add a cup of buttermilk and one egg. Now you'll wanna make sure that you've washed your chicken very good. I never cook a chicken that I don't wash. You wanna make sure your chicken is real clean. All right, so we've mixed together our egg and our buttermilk because the chickens are going swimming before I put them in their coats. Now let me show you what I'm gonna coat them with. I'm gonna eyeball about a cup about a cup of flour, and I've got a cup of pecans that I have just almost pulverized. And I just did those in a food processor. It would take a long time to take a knife and mince them that fine, so pull out your blender or your food processor for that. Now I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of sesame seeds. And to that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of paprika. That's gonna help our chicken get nice and brown. All right, now I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. Now we're just gonna mix this all together. And now I'm just gonna grind up some fresh black pepper in there. I was born and raised in Albany, Georgia, which we consider it to be the pecan capital of the world. And there were pecan trees everywhere. And uh, the first house that my husband and I bought had pecan trees in the yard. So I'd get out there and I'd pick up those pecans and I'd take them to the pecan company and sell those pecans. And that's what we would used to go to the fair because I felt like otherwise, you know, I, I just didn't have the money for something so frivolous as a fair. But it was something that I looked so forward to. All right. So I've got a dish over here and I've gotten some chicken already started and I put a stick of melted butter in the bottom of that pan. So let's get the rest of our chicken going and you can see how I just quartered the chicken. Okay, so in our buttermilk and egg mixture, and like I said, this is gonna act like a glue for our nice coating that we're gonna put on it. And you know, y'all, I would sell every one of those stinking nuts, but I'd save out enough to make this dish or make a pecan pie. So there we go, just gonna run it through. So we got our chicken nice and coated. And remember, I told you that I had melted a stick of butter. So I'm just gonna run that piece of chicken around in that butter. All right, here we go with the next piece. Now I'm gonna take, just to let everybody know what this chicken is, I'm just gonna toss in about a quarter of a cup of whole pecan halves. There is nothing like that nut. Love it, mmm. All right, so in the oven our chicken's gonna go. And remember, that's 350 for an hour and 15 minutes. So now while our chicken's cooking, I wanna prepare a vegetable that, oh gosh, brings back thoughts of my mother and uh, her kitchen in the fall, and that's acorn squash. 
I think the fall might be one of my favorite seasons. It's when things start cooling down and the, the leaves are changing. And there's just a whole different smell in the air in autumn. So I have cut my acorn squash into, scooped out the seeds. Now I'm going to mix two tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of butter. Oh, that looks like two tablespoons right there, doesn't it? <laughs> and two tablespoons of real maple syrup. And we're just gonna mix those together. All right. So we've got our ingredients. Now I'm just gonna brush the inside of our acorn squash with that butter and brown sugar and syrup. So look at that. In we go, 400 degrees for one hour. All right, there we go. And here's just two words that you'll love hearing every fall. Maybe it's three words. Pumpkin cheesecake. That's what's coming up. And later, pear fritters, y'all. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back, y'all. Today's show is all about my favorite foods in the autumn time of the year. And you can see while y'all were gone, I got all this stuff strung out for my pumpkin cheesecake. But before we get started on that, we got something in the oven that's smelling awfully good. So why don't we pull that out and just see what our finished dishes look like. You know, we've got our pecan chicken in one oven. Oh my goodness, this is so heavy. Look at that. In our other oven, we've got our acorn squash that I bathed with butter and maple syrup and brown sugar. Oh, it's a hot oven. And look at those. They're just a sizzling. I think I'm gonna have to get the spatula. All right. Do you like white meat or dark meat? Dark meat, so do I. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a fabulous meal that you'd want to serve in the fall time of the year? Look at that squash, y'all, with that brown sugar. Mmm. It's so good. And let's look at our chicken. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious, y'all. The crunch of the pecans on top. Go, buddy. Otis dearly loves chicken. Don't you, buddy? Well, come on down here, y'all, and let's get started on our pumpkin cheesecake. I have one and three-fourths a cup of graham cracker crumbs. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of light brown sugar, and I'm gonna pack that in. You know, I think I like three. So I'm gonna stick in one more. And I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And I'm just gonna toss these ingredients together. And now I'm gonna pour in one stick of melted butter. And that butter is gonna hold our crust together for us. I love the salt 
and the sweet together. So I always bake with salted butter. So that's nice and moist. All right, I'm using a nine inch springform pan and I'm just gonna dump that down into the pan and I'm gonna kinda spread it evenly around. And then I'm just gonna take a flat bottom measuring cup and I'm gonna come in there and really pack down our crust real good. Beautiful. All right, now let's come on over here and mix up our cheesecake. You know, cheesecake is probably one of the easiest desserts that you can make. Now I'm gonna start with three eight ounce packages of cream cheese that I've let come to room temperature and I'm gonna beat these ingredients together. All right, I'm gonna add one 15 ounce can of pureed pumpkin, three eggs plus one egg yolk. I'm gonna crack them into a bowl to make sure the eggs are good before I mix them all together. I'm gonna give every one of them a quick look over. And those look great. All right, that's our three whole eggs and one yolk, about an eighth of a teaspoon of fresh ground nutmeg. I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. I'm gonna toss in a fourth of a cup of sour cream. I'm gonna add one and a half cups of sugar. This almost seems like diet cake, doesn't it? Just a cup and a half of sugar, that's not bad. All right. All right, I'm gonna beat this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna toss in a couple of tablespoons of flour. And the last thing I'm gonna add is like a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. And just that easy, we have pumpkin cheesecake. All right, so we're just gonna pour this into our springform pan. And like I said, I'm using a nine inch, y'all. Okay, so we're just gonna spread that out evenly into our pan, y'all. We're gonna put this in a 350 degree oven and we're gonna let it bake for one hour and then I'm gonna let it rest in the pan for 15 minutes. And then it's fair game on the cheesecake, y'all. So I'll see you back in a minute. You won't believe what I'm cooking next. Pear fritters. I hope y'all are enjoying the show and I wanna hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Okay, our cheesecake is out of the oven and I've had it sitting on the counter for about 15 minutes to just rest for a minute. Now I'm gonna take my knife and just go around my pan because I wanna make sure that it comes out perfectly even. All right, now I'm just gonna undo my springform pan, lift it very gently. I'm gonna wrap this, and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. <laughs> I don't know who I'm kidding, but I'm hoping <laughs> that I can let it chill for about four hours. I don't think I've ever had a cheesecake that lasted four hours but we'll try it. Okay. So in the fridge this goes. Michael is gonna adore that. He loves cheesecake. Cheesecake is probably one of his favorite desserts. Any kind of cheesecake. All right, the next thing I'm gonna prepare for y'all is pear fritters. 
Now I'm going to start with one cup of flour. I just want to level that off real good. All right, before I throw in my flour, I'm going to take a half a cup of milk and one egg that's been slightly beaten. Into the bowl it goes. two teaspoons of sugar, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and I'm just gonna give that a little whisk. And then I'm gonna toss in our cup of self-rising flour, and that's gonna make our fritter puff up. Ooh, that cinnamon is smelling so good. And it's just perfect, perfect spice for pears. All right, now I'm gonna add one cup of sour cream and stir that into our batter. And that's just like perfect. So there we go. Finish whisking our batter together. And I'm gonna let it sit while I'm down here working on our pears. I've already gotten started on the pears, and would you believe uh, that this pear is from one of my trees? I have pear trees out in my garden. I love, I love fruit trees. So we're just gonna peel our pear, just like this. Okay. So we're just gonna cut the stem off, cut the bottom off, and then I'm gonna come in with my apple cora. Stick it into our pear. Now I'm just gonna cut my pear rings, just like that. And then we're gonna take our rings over here, and I've got some oil that I've had heating up right here. I'm just gonna turn up the heat a little bit, and I'm gonna just dip them down in our fritter batter and into your hot oil that's about a fourth of an inch thick. Cook those till they're brown, and that's it. All right, so y'all don't go too far because when we come back, we've got something waiting in our refrigerator, just waiting for us to wrap our lips around. You remember the cheesecake, don't you? And then we're gonna taste fritters. So I'll meet y'all back. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Hey y'all, that's just perfect timing. Y'all are back and I'm done frying up our fritters. I've just got the last three ready to come out of the pan. You can serve them plain, just like this. I've got something else in mind for my fritter. I've got some vanilla ice cream. I'm just gonna put a scoop right there in the center of my fritter. I'm gonna put a little cinnamon sugar, a little powdered sugar, and then I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of that maple syrup over the top. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? And you know I always tell you to eat your vegetables. So we're gonna come down here, we're gonna get us a little piece of fresh mint, and we're gonna tuck right in there. And let's move on down here, cause we've got something else waiting for us here. And look at our cheesecake, y'all. This cheesecake turned out absolutely perfect. And it's so rich, it's only gonna take 
just a wee little bit. <laughs> and a wee little bit of whipped cream, more vegetables, and a little dust of powdered sugar. We have got two fabulous desserts. that we have harvested during this fabulous fall of the year. I can't eat a pear fritter without thinking about my grandmother, Paul. Mm. She used to make apple and pear fritters all the time. That is so good with the ice cream. And you can almost think of it as a healthy dessert in a way, can't you? Because it's got that nice fresh pear. You know, it sounds good to me. <laughs> and now let's go in for our pumpkin cheesecake. Mm. You will never, ever, ever want pumpkin pie ever again. This is fabulous. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>